Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today what I want to do is I want to talk about street fashion. So as you guys know, it's New York Fashion Week. Um, one of the websites that I go to and even magazines that I go to for fashion inspiration is GQ magazine. Um, you know, I'm subscribed to their newsletters, I read their magazines, I read their blog posts, etc. So if you're a guy that's into fashion, I definitely recommend checking out GQ magazine. Um, you're going to find tons of really cool fashion inspirations out there. Um, so GQ magazine actually just did a blog post where they curated some of the hottest looks from New York street fashion. Um, so today what I want to do is I want to kind of go through them with you guys and kind of share my opinion of what I think about these looks um, and also kind of help you guys identify some trends that are really going to um, take off in 2019. <laughs> All right guys, so let's get into these looks. Um, I'm gonna leave the link to this blog post in the description box down below. So feel free to check that out. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, this first look is actually pretty cool. Um, this vest that this guy is wearing, I don't know what this is. I mean, honestly, he's wearing this vest over what looks like a denim hoodie or some kind of, uh, yeah, that looks kind of like a denim material. Um, but he's wearing this vest that looks like a carpet pretty much over this hoodie and to be honest with you guys i mean this look is so 20 2017 2018 um i think that we could definitely skip this look in 2019 um this vest fashion i mean it's it's kind of played out it's kind of done um i'd rather not see this in 2019 to be honest with you guys all right so this next look um it's interesting it's interesting you know he has on the oversized jacket oversized sweater um cropped pants and that looks like a6 sneakers um, what i like about this look is actually the color and the mood you know the color palette of this look is very um, earthy very kind of um, fall and drab a little bit all right this next look um, this look is going to be a no for me dog like this is just a no i mean what is this like some kind of print shirt and it's oversized and it looks like he's wearing a cardigan underneath that shirt and also a turtleneck. I mean, it's like, make up your mind. Like, what are you trying to wear? And then you're wearing a trench coat on top of that. Not to mention his pants are way oversized. They're almost practically dragging to the ground. And if you actually zoom in here, it looks like his shoelace is untied. All right, so this next post, um, this older gentleman, he actually looks really fashionable. He looks like some kind of creative director or some kind of um, fashion designer or something, but he's really cool. You know, he's rocking what he's wearing. It's not for everybody, mind you. Whatever he's wearing is working for him. Um, you know, he has on the all black and the, the that looks like off-whites um, version of their Converse, which looks pretty cool. He has a black frame glasses, a cool haircut, you know, the salt and pepper beard. You know, he looks pretty cool. He looks sharp. He looks so New York. All right, so this next guy looks pretty cool. I love his look. He has a total 70s vibe. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that the 70s is actually kind of coming back in 2019. So you're gonna see a lot of like 70s style inspiration uh, this year and this, this spring pretty much. So this next look, um, you can't really see the full outfits, but what really stands out and what is really cool is this haircut. I mean, this haircut is killing it. When you look at this haircut with this glasses that the person seems to be wearing, I mean, it looks dope. It looks pretty fresh and fashion forward. All right, so this guy wearing this Adidas parka long line coat. Um, I don't know why he's on this blog, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know what's going on, but this is not necessarily a look. Uh, he's just wearing a coat, and the coat is actually wearing him. Um, not to mention, when you zoom in, he's wearing some kind of sandals with socks. And it's like, I mean, think about the functionality of everything you're wearing. Don't just think about throwing outfits together. Um, are you hot or are you cold? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's wearing, a, he's wearing sandals, which you would normally wear in hot weather but then you're also wearing a long line coat, which you wear in the, in the freaking cold. So make up your mind, which is it, you know? The 70s look again, this looks pretty cool. These guys look like they're rocking it. They look like they're straight from the 70s or like they're about to go to a Beatles concert or something. Now this guy is interesting because this is an example of your clothes wearing you and not you wearing the clothes. Now when I see this guy, 
the only thing I notice about him is his outfit, but I don't really notice him or his attitude or his swag. All I notice is this green coat that he was, he's wearing and the pants that has all these embroideries and uh, logos and things. Um, but I don't necessarily notice the person wearing the outfit. So the clothes is definitely wearing him. All right, so this guy is actually really cool. Um, he's fashion forward, you know, he's wearing a simple suit. Um, he has on what looks like a, a neon cardigan strapped around it like a cross bag um, with a bright pink, hot pink shirt basically. Um, it's a really cool look, it's interesting. I wouldn't necessarily wear this trench coat. It looks like a leather trench coat. I don't think he needs it for this look, but I understand that it's cold in New York. I love the matching socks. If you guys know me personally, you know I love colored socks. Um, I also like this Claire handbag that he's carrying. That's something that's really cool right now is like um, having Claire bags, Claire jackets, things like that. Another thing to point out is his hair. Um, his hair is actually really working for his look because it's kind of like a monochromatic look, but then you have the pops of colors in there. Next, uh, this guy, this guy looks like a typical kind of like LA slash New York kind of vibe. Um, he's really cool. He's not doing too much, but this is a very safe and simple, fashionable look. All right, so I actually kind of like this look, um, and I know that this look might not necessarily be for everyone, but what I like about this look is how bold she seems to be rocking this look. You know what I mean? Like, you know, she's wearing something that's very fashion forward, it's very edgy, and she's putting it together and she's walking with a nice stride. Again, this look, um, this look necessarily isn't for me, but then what I wanted to point out to you guys was the 70s vibe that's coming back in 2019. Oh my goodness, this fur coat is life. This fur coat is everything. Like, you guys have no idea how bad I've been looking for a fur coat just like this. Like I've always wanted a fur coat because it's like, it's just totally cool. When you can put on your fur coats, you have on your shades, you're on top of the world. Like, I mean, if you, if you have a fur coat like this, like it's over, it's done. Like, I mean, no one can tell you anything. Again, 70s vibe, coming back. Love the shirts, don't love the pants. Um, this guy looks like he's straight from the 70s going to play for Jimi Hendrix or something. Um, I wouldn't necessarily wear this, but I mean, it's a vibe, it's a mood. Again, this is in a way still the 70s. You can see the black turtleneck, which I'm actually wearing right now. You can see the black turtleneck um, is very reminiscent of the 70s, the Black Panther movements and all of that. You can see he has on the Kwanzaa hats and also some kind of tribal um, varsity jackets, which looks pretty cool. All right, um, so what I like about this one, even though it's not much, you can't really see the full outfit, what I like about it is his confidence. You can just tell that this person is a very confident individual. I do like the brooch pin that he has on over his jackets. Um, that looks pretty cool. I love the glasses. It looks like he has on uh, a earring. Um, that looks pretty interesting. Um, he also has a leather bag, which looks pretty cool as well. But what I really like about it, not necessarily the outfit per se, but more so of his swag and his vibe. Um, I think that's what's most important when you dress up is how confident are you? What kind of swag do you have? Are you wearing the clothes or is the clothes wearing you? Um, so I think that's probably the most important thing that you can put on is your confidence. All right, so this guy, uh, he looks very high beast. Um, everything he's wearing looks pretty um, athleisure, if you will. You know, he has on sort of like a whistle, which looks pretty cool. His glasses are dope as hell. Um, these are some really cool glasses, actually. Um, this person's look is actually very Tokyo. It's very cool. Love their haircuts. Um, if you know Tokyo street fashion, they love a lot of colors. All right, guys. Um, I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know what this is that he has on his head. I don't know if he's going out of space. I don't know if he's in a hazmat suit. Um, I don't know, I just don't know what's going on, man. Like, this is like, this is a no for me, dog. Like, um, if you guys know what's going on with this look, drop a comment, maybe I'm missing something. All right, guys, so that's my reaction to GQ's Street Fashion of New York Fashion Week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be dropping more videos and more fashion tips um, on my channel pretty soon. And if you're looking for fashion inspiration, I suggest that you do check out my Instagram channel. I do post a lot of cool looks, a lot of outfit of the day type of pictures every now and then. So do check out my channel for some inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next one.